Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kate and I am an in-home childcare provider in the state of Minnesota. Right now it is November 2020 and I just opened up my childcare in August of this year. So the past few months have been busy with not only getting children enrolled in my program, but also figuring out the logistics of running a business and running an in-home daycare. I currently have six children in my care, two of which are my own, so they are counted in my ratio. My oldest girl, uh, my daughter is five, and my youngest daycare kiddo is just three months old. So I do have a little bit of a range of children, and today what I wanted to do is show you around my house and show you how I've set up our basement to be daycare friendly. So I'm gonna do this a little bit of vlog style. I'm not gonna do a voiceover because I don't have the best microphone on my laptop. Um, but I'm gonna start up at the entryway so that you can see where the parents come in and then I will come down the stairs. We do have a split level home so you'll see kind of how I situated that and I'll explain a little bit about drop off and pick up too. So this is the angle that I look at uh, when I'm downstairs with the kiddos and this is my front door. So this is where the parents come in um, to drop off their kids in the morning. I open at 6.30. So at 6.30 I come up here and I turn on my light outside and I unlock my front door. And they just come in and they stay right here. And I make my way up these steps to get the child from them. I do have a little mirror here just for them and myself <laughs> to make sure that I look okay. Um, and then I've got my license just posted up here. And the parent brings the child in says their goodbyes, they leave, and then I bring the child and all of their belongings down the stairs here. And again, we're in Minnesota and it's winter. <laughs> Look at our puppy. Um, and so because it's winter, I don't want their salty shoes and boots getting all over my floors down here. So again, this is just where I was standing looking up at our front door and I'm going to start by going down my hallway first. So again, this is a split level home built in 2018, so it's relatively new and we did just finish our basement this summer in preparation for daycare. So right when you come down the stairs, this is where I hang everyone's jackets and snow pants and whatnot. So you can see it, it's a Saturday morning right now. Um, I've still got some. Um, daycare belongings here. This is my daughter's backpack and this is where I just hang the baby carrier. I do have an infant that I watch. So if we go on a walk or go play outside, I'll hold um, the baby in that. And I've just got this little poster that's starting to get crooked up here, but just got some inspirational messages from me. And this is our hallway. Now you'd think, okay, what's so exciting about a hallway? But seriously, when the kids get bored or tired of being in our main space, the hallway can become another space. So if you have a hallway, use it. <laughs> you can see that I've put some tape on the floor. It's just blue painters tape and I've put hopscotch there and I'm, they use it every day. They use hopscotch. Now they're not always actually playing the actual hopscotch game. <laughs> they might play something else or bring some racetracks over here or Legos. This can be a whole space for them to play in. Sometimes they'll even bring our little fake kitchen stuff over here and they'll play house down here. So don't forget to utilize your hallway as a space. But anyways, um, these two doors on the right are our own personal stuff. So we've got storage and our dog kennel back there. And then we've got our laundry room and our heater and everything in here. So these are locked off. These are inaccessible to the children throughout the day. And then to our left here, we've got our bathroom. Now this is an unfinished bathroom. Um, it just doesn't have the walls done. But the plumbing, the electrical, everything has been inspected and it's all, um, we've gotten the thumbs up from the city. So this is what we use for our bathroom space. The kids, of course, use the, hi, the single-use towels, and I use this one. We've got our hand-washing chart up and a little stool. And I've got some storage in here for some miscellaneous items and a child that needs some extra help in the bathroom. I've got his items in here, dog food. Um, I wash these covers for the bouncer chairs. Every, every week we'll wash those if, if not needed more. So this is our bathroom. <clears throat> and then just going down the hallway, this back bedroom is another playroom and we also use it as a napping room. So 
just some more space. So sometimes a child just needs some time to get away from all the other kids and play by themselves. And so they're welcome to bring toys into here. Otherwise I do have some toys already in here. I have some cars. These often these get pulled out into the hallway here. And this is our dog. <laughs> But yeah, so this is just the back bedroom. Um, I often close, these is what I use for um, nap time. So I'll close those, it gets nice and dark in here. I'm using my laptop right now for white noise, so I do need to get a white noise machine, but this is our napping room. And then this is the view from the end of the hallway. So I'll come back out. And right outside of the bathroom here, I keep our garbage. So I only have one garbage can down here, less for me to, to empty. Um, and we'll use this one for our hand towels in the bathroom, and we'll use it for our lunch. I do keep a broom here. Um, I keep my emergency exit plan, um, our weather, like temperatures when it's too cold to go out. <clears throat> and then here is my wall of like cabinets that I use. Now this area, you guys, I use it, it's a dual purpose area. So we use this for eating, and we also use this for craft time and any coloring that we're gonna be doing. So this is just my fridge, obviously. I keep, you know, my own household stuff in there, anything that won't fit upstairs in our actual like fridge, but I also keep daycare stuff in here. So if a mom needs to bring breast milk or something, we'll keep that in the freezer. So that's really handy to have down here. And let's see. So I just have the, the cupboards labeled. I have a friend who has an egg allergy, so I just wanted to make sure to post that so I don't forget. Also, if I, my husband is ever gonna help me out, then he knows um, allergies are listed here. And my little labels, you guys, are starting to come off. But this is where I keep some um, snacky food and utensils and plates and whatnot. And I've just got um, a bunch of cleaning supplies up here. This is my current favorite, because <laughs> you don't have to wipe it off after you spray it. I love that, and it smells really natural too. And then I've just got a stack of rags there. These are like extra like safety clips and locks. And then some garbage bags. And so these really are my only two for food, aside from this one where I keep bibs and burp cloths and stuff. Um, everything else, so all of these are all for like arts and crafts supplies and games and puzzles. And then these are for arts and crafts too. Open it up here. So this is just some of my, these are my textbooks from school. <laughs> I've got some supplies up here to make some items. I'm just waiting on finding time to do that. I got my bottle warmer, some candles, hand sanitizer, scissors, all things that I want to keep up and away from the kiddos. <clears throat> and then this is just like my my teacher area, if you will. So I prep food over here. I usually have my laptop stationed here and I will open it up throughout the day and enter in our, our meals into the kid care program, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a mess right now, but I was working. So anyways, I can go into more detail on all of this. Um, like here is our paper drawer. Um, we do keep scrap paper. There's no reason to throw paper like this away. So. Don't be wasting paper, you guys. You never know what you can use with scraps. Got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, we're gonna be doing a feed the turkey activity next week, so I have to prep that, and these will be for fine motor practice. Got some Play-Doh and a Play-Doh game down here. Got some puzzles and um, this counting game. That one's fun. Anyways, I can go into more detail about these if you guys wanna see it. Okay, so as I turn around from my cupboard, there is like this area. So this is where we'll go outside. This is our backyard. And I do have a, a swing set playground out there and some little littler items for my babies to play on. Um, we just keep our boots here, try to contain all of the mess here right in front of the door. And this little shelf is what I use to keep like our 
uh, backpack on. So anytime we go outside, I grab the backpack. It's got our first aid kit in there and all of the necessary items for licensing requirements. And then inside, I keep um, a bin for each kiddo. So they've got extra clothes and medicine or like um, ointments and stuff that their parents have brought for them. So I just keep it tucked away in there. And then I do have two currently sitting in high chairs. So I've got my two high chairs folded up and this is the table that we use for eating. And I'll clean it off and then we'll do craft clean it off again and do snack <laughs> it's a constant process you guys understand but my husband actually made this table he painted it and everything I'm in love with it um, and it's perfect for the amount of kids that I have right now if I ever get more kids we're gonna have to upgrade to something a little bit bigger because really only two little butts fit right here so four at this table my daughter sits there another little one-year-old sits there and then I usually have a bouncer seat sitting over here with the infant in it or carrying him but yeah, this is where we do all of our meals. So when we are not utilizing the meal or craft space, this is our main kind of playroom area. So let me walk you through this and how this functions. So when I was a child and in daycare, one of the things that I enjoyed about being in an in-home was that it really did feel like a second home. These kids are often with us more than they're with their parents, right? So I wanted to make sure that it not only felt educational for them, so you'll see little elements of like preschool type activities, but also it just should feel like home and comfortable and safe. So this is why I kept a couch and a TV down here. Um, I don't need any negative comments about TV. I absolutely turn on the TV once in a while for them. Usually it's something educational. Uh, we did watch Frozen a couple weeks ago. If you comment negative, I'll just delete it. <laughs> so um, that's just how I operate. And I've also always asked my parents um, or let them know that TV is something that we'll watch once in a while because you do it at home too, right? Let's, let's not pretend we're all saints here. But moving on. Um, this is the couch that we use. This is also where we do circle time. So um, I've got a board here. I often draw pictures or we'll draw letters if we're working on them. Sometimes I'll have the kids come up and, and practice drawing a shape, right? So we'll, let's talk about a circle today. Who knows how to draw a circle? We'll practice raising our hands. We practice taking turns. We practice clapping for each other and encouraging each other. So circle time is really about kind of a, a community um, supporting each other and working through problem solving. So even though it's just a few minutes long, any education we can get throughout the day is welcomed. So this is my circle time area. I just have a few circles up here um, with a helper, a little message, and then we usually have a question of the day. I do have a weather poster that I made. So yesterday was Friday and it was sunny out, so the, I always have the kids pick out which weather it is and they use our little pointer. Um, we work on sight words and we usually work on three words at a time and we work on them for a long time. So um, calendar, helpful for counting and singing and number recognition. These are nice because they also have the months and the days written in Spanish. So we can practice that too and get them acclimated or acquainted with another language. All right, moving on from circle time, we have our changing station. So this is our changing area. Um, I just have my little diaper genie down here and this three drawer changing table I got for free off the side of the road. <laughs> and it's actually in really good condition. Um, so I just have a changing mat up here that's got that surface that's really easily cleaned. After every change, I have to go ahead and take one of these disinfecting wipes and wipe it down. So it needs to have a, um, not like a fluffy, cutesy surface, <laughs> something like that. Um, and then I've got diapers for my daughter, my infant, and then the other one-year-old that we have. And then in this drawer, I've got some extra disinfecting wipes. We go through these like crazy, more burp cloths and towels and some more wipes. 
And then this bottom drawer, I need to get the lock fixed because it doesn't quite keep it closed. And that, that's why this one's empty. Because I have a little guy who likes to come in here and <laughs> open this drawer. So once that lock is fixed, then I can use that drawer. Um, I do keep, <clears throat> excuse me, I do keep the wipes right here so that they're easily accessible. And there's no, uh, there's no fragrances or anything in here, so it's okay. I think that these are setting here and I just keep some books up here and a little toy to look at sometimes we have some fidgety diaper changes so they want to hold on to something so I like to have some stuff right here to give them quick if they're kind of getting antsy and don't want to be changed and then licensing requires any um, open and in-use products to be right up and away from the kids so they can't reach them so I've just got some gloves in here I've got some um, changing pads, so if I know this is going to be a really dirty diaper and I don't want this completely soiled, I'll pull one of these out so I can just throw it away when I'm done. These are some more disinfecting wipes and these are Genie um, bag replacements. And then of course my Clorox wipes. And that is pretty much the changing station. All right, so we've already talked about the TV, um, you guys, Cosmic Kids Yoga, things like that, all good stuff to have on for the kids, especially in the afternoon when we've got like a half hour left of the day and you don't really want them out taking out all of the toys again that you just cleaned up. So having them over here is like a nice separation and they get their wiggles out before mom and dad come pick up. So also over here, I like to keep some of my um, items for the younger ones so that it's a soft environment for them. They can be over here playing while the bigger ones are over there. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about all the toys. They're self-explanatory. Um, this is just something I, this is a big roll of paper printed off or tore off of the ream and taped down and I gave them some crayons and they loved it, right? So they wrote their name, they drew some roads, and it's next to the cars, so it makes sense. They were drawing some houses and some other structures. It's kind of a fun, I mean, when you're stuck inside when it's cold, you gotta be creative. <clears throat> this is our turkey, so it's almost Thanksgiving. It's not next week, but the following week. So I made the turkey and I've had each of them color a leaf or a feather, and I write something on there that they're thankful for. And we're working on feathers to fill up before Thanksgiving. And so over here, I've just got our little reading area. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't want to keep it here. It's just kind of temporary. I do think it's too close to all of the other active toys. Um, so I'm think, trying to think of a new location for this. Um, but right now, it's right here. So um, got some books up here. Got some comfy, cozy spot down here to sit in. I have some books here accessible to them. I had this read sign up, but Lord knows our one-year-olds don't want to keep it there. We have some artwork that my sister made at one of those painting workshops. And so I love having the custom art. We have that one, a turtle. And she also made that one, it's a sunset. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so I just kind of have this structured off reading. This is all like little people. I've got some blocks and shape Legos, some cars, some more cars. Um, and then over here is really just dramatic play, this whole area. So we've got the Doc McStuffins uh, vet area. I've got some baby dolls in a crib. I have all of these bins up here because yesterday afternoon was one of those afternoons where I just didn't want the little hands touching every single toy that we had. But um, I did go on Teachers Pay Teachers and print off the um, grocery store one. I love it. I think it was $6 and some change. And so I've separated out all of the food and the kids just love playing with it. And typically we'll have all of these, you know, on the shelf. So the shelf is full. They come to the grocery store, which my sign also got taken down. It was right here. <laughs> so they come to the grocery store with their cart and their little shopping list and they can pick out what they need and they bring it over to the cash register see there's a little sticker there and then I brought my Aldi bags down so they can use those to bag up the groceries and it's just been really fun really nice um, dramatic play and we're teaching right we're learning about 
um, sight words. And we're learning about organization of different types of foods. And what's a pantry item and what goes in the fridge. Things like that. So, yeah, this is all just dramatic play. And this is where we have our dramatic play outfits. And right now you'll see I'm using this pack and play for some storage, but usually all of this stuff is out, and sometimes my infant will sleep in here while the kids are playing, which is really nice to get them used to being able to go to sleep in a loud environment. So that is pretty much my, my space, you guys. Um, again, I just started in August, so still new at this. Definitely still a rookie. Um, Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you consider sticking around and subscribing to my channel and we'll see you on the next one.